folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the uh, Margu campaign, the tri generational campaign. Uh, glad to have you. Football's almost over. Uh, so, you know, what else are you going to do but watch and listen to us? Uh, you've made the right choice. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, uh, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, Go ahead. Uh, most importantly, if you want to seat on a game, uh, one shots all month long, or the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on there uh, before the next campaign starts in February, uh, folks. As I said, this is the tri generational campaign, so we're going to pick up where we left off two weeks ago. But first, let's introduce you to the players. First up, Alex. Who are you? Who are you? Playing? Hello, I am playing Felix, and I only have a plus three dexterity. So, uh, <laughs> ladies, don't have to be warned. <laughs> I wrote that well, down from well, last week. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, except to probably his uh, Yes. Yeah. Funny to uh, me, though. The... <laughs> We're loving well, that's it. That's all right. I, mean, I spent 15 awesome. minutes explaining what the hell it meant to his grandmother. <laughs> wow. Do we want to know how you explained it? <laughs> Next up is the senior member of the crew, Frank oh, Senior. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Leaf the Crazy Druid. Didn't used to be crazy, but after this many weeks playing this shit on Sundays, I'm uh, getting there. You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, other Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Robert of Zeppelin, the mystical, magical bus tour bard. And uh, I'm half work bard just you know the number one in this group i keep us together and i leave no evidence didn't you burn down a tavern two weeks ago and anybody in it mm -hmm. uh last but certainly not least admiral copious vol bitters jason <laughs> who are you tell us a little bit about copious uh, copious vol bitters the third gnomish uh, beer magnet and admiral of uh an imaginary fleet he gave himself a promotion after uh haggis crap stain started to get uppity calling himself captain a couple weeks ago yeah. so ready to get rolling again he has an admiral hat because his head's oh. too big to fit in any other yeah i just realized something he's a beer magnet and alex is a or felix is a ore magnet yes and, i am and dice magnet oh yeah yeah, yeah. now we're talking that's right. Folks, we're down two players, uh, go, or not copious, Haggis Crabstain and Manfang are off doing uh, other things. So these four are going to pick up where they left off in case you missed it two weeks ago. Uh, the crew got separated again. Uh, copious and Leaf <sighs> took off to the ship, uh, hoping that it was intact. It mostly was. Uh, the rest of the group, including the aforementioned missing party members, Went to the bar. Uh, <laughs> there was gambling. There was alleged whoring, although she was only a cut purse. There was fire. There were fights. And four of the party are running for their lives. That would be Felix, Robert, and the two missing members. We will start back at the dark, uh, darkness falling uh, at the ship Uh Copious and Leaf, you have found the Pistorius. Uh, however, uh, some of the crew is missing and some of your mounts are missing. There are three spears uh, tipped with feathers indicating a tabaxi presence. Uh, you guys all knew that the tabaxi were supposed to meet the smugglers who are now dead and beheaded. Uh, Copious and Leaf. Let's start off with perception checks. Uh, 25. 10. Uh, both of you are significant enough that you realize the ship is only beached. There is a small modicum of water that needs to be pumped out. Uh, it doesn't appear that the structural damage is significant. So the ship will be seaworthy when it hits high tide and washes you off the shore. That is the good news. The bad news is you've taken inventory. Your supplies are all there. Zonkey's not so much. Uh, and Pierre Glambone, uh, missing uh, sailor, 
and personal friend to Robert of Zeppelin uh, is missing. Uh, and <laughs> Phineas Latrec is highly concerned. How would you like to calm his fears? Well, uh, so what about the human sailors we had taken on board crew as well? Are they there or are they missing as well? They are also missing. <laughs> and the, the turtles, the turtles uh, are with the tabaxi, right? Right. The turtles were with Tony Dakota, the tabaxi smuggler, and those three are with you. So we're missing the humans and the gnome and all the zonkies or just three zonkies, four zonkies, three zonkies, two albino, right? One albino, uh, one got to stay. Not buttercup. D12 against me, Alec. Uh, or, uh, I knew like that was good. I did too. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Uh, yes. Butter, Buttercup is there. Man <gasps> Fangs is MIA. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell it because he was too tired to stick around. <laughs> That's true. So uh, I'm going to ask uh, uh, the Tabaxi, what's his name? Tom, Tony Jerry. Dakota, Tony Dakota. Tony Dakota. Uh, were the rest of the crew here when you left the ship? Yeah, we were all taking a pee break, but, uh, you know, uh, we happened to get caught with our drawers down by the turtles. <laughs> so was the gnome and the humans taking a pee break at the same place as the tabaxi and the turtles? Uh, no, they were trying to figure out how to get us off this uh, earthen ledge. All right. right. Uh, I don't recall if last, last time we had done this, but I – since the ship has been beached, I want to go outside the ship and see if we see any tracks of any kind, like zonky uh, tracks or zonky tracks. Yeah, they would be uh, present. Before you can look for zonky tracks, ho there! Move away from my ship. Uh, in the dim light, you notice. Yes, we know who that is. You notice a saber-toothed tiger ridden by a human in tiger skin. Uh, and an antler helmet. He is dragging behind him a dirtied and beaten uh, gnome who is being dragged along in a noose. Uh, he commands <laughs> you to get away from his ship. Uh, moving over to Felix and Robert and the two MIAs. Uh, the turtles are pissed, uh, so much so that they are still chasing you. Uh, both of you go ahead and give me survival checks. <laughs> Let's see if you can outdistance these fat reptiles. Or, turtles are reptiles, right? 12. Uh, 12's not very good, but 16 is. Uh, you start to make headway as uh, the drunken attitude starts to leave them lagging behind. Go ahead and give me an odd even roll, Robert. Odd. Uh, you come up to the first uh, water outlet, and uh, you recall that uh, there were some quippers here. <laughs> There's some what? Quippers. Piranha. No. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you two like to uh, cross this time? It's only and three you... foot across, man. Jump the damn thing. It worked well for him last time, as I recall. I'm no, really hurting here. I don't have a lot of HP left, so if I fall in there and one of them bites me, this is going to be bad. One? Did you say one? No, no, I have nine HP. I think he was referring to how many uh, piranha were going to bite you. Uh-huh, I was. That's oh. a swarm. Yeah. yeah. The only time one bites you is if you got it as a pet and stick your hand in the pool. Oh, boy, yeah. <sighs> Uh, Robert and Felix, it? how well, do you want to do this? How wide is it? Oh, it's, it's very narrow. I think it was five feet. Five Come feet. Come on. Hey, we can do this. It's long jump. Can I was use it, my was acrobatics? It, was it three feet? It was three feet. It was three feet, but didn't you hit the side of the... Yeah, he didn't make it up the other bank. Uh, he hit the uh, bank and fell in. That's yeah. right. So, yeah, you know, you can use acrobatics. I'll give you that. All right. Don't, don't, roll, don't roll one. Don't... Oh, easily. 24. <laughs> Natural 19. Very nice. <laughs> uh, you know, I got a 7 and 18. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Man Fang was the 7. <laughs> uh, when he comes back, he is going to have suffered 
let's get out some uh, murder hobo dice because they seem to roll real well. They do for me. Uh, not so much. Uh, 13 hit points to Man Fang oh. when he returns. Uh, do you guys want to help him out or let him fight it out? Uh, or should we just run? Do we have a little rope or something or a stick? Something it's that three, we can. Three feet, you can just reach out nope. and touch someone. No, nope. no, I'll throw a rope in. I'm not going right, near those piranhas. Let's see if he can do this. <laughs> yes, uh, the rope helps him dwindle out. Uh, some of his clothing is tattered. You guys make it out uh, huffing and puffing. Uh, and the turtles, they're done. They, they don't even care anymore. Uh, so you guys have about 20 minutes to hoof it if you're running. Uh, 40 if you're going slow. I'm ho- I ain't do. hanging around. I just set I just set one building on fire. Doesn't mean it's not going to spread. City guard doesn't like me, and my <laughs> my face is well known. I'm hoofing. Uh, smugglers don't like you. Uh, underworld figures don't like you. Guards Relaxing. don't like you. Tavern patrons don't like you. Uh, whores apparently do not like you. Is let's you know what? Let's start. Who does Copious. like you? Phineas oh, Lutrec yeah, yeah. loves you. <laughs> I like you, and that's all that matters. That's true, and that's two. That's right. Copious and Leaf. Uh, this knightly figure. Uh, oh, there. Wait, Get away from it, my ship. So, is he being arrogant or demand? What's the attitude here? We're getting off. Can we do an intent? Uh... Insight checks. I'll take insight checks from both of you. Oh, that ain't very good. Um, nine. I'll give you a hint. His name is Quixote. <laughs> Don Quixote. <Okay>. I'm a- <laughs> but he does have uh, the gnome, Pierre Glambone, uh, dragging him pretty rough. All right. So uh, we're on ship. I'm going to climb up on top of the deck. So I can, he can see me and I can see him. I'm going to try to use Fey presence to charm him. And I'm going to treat him respectfully. So Copius is going to appeal to his uh, knightly form. Let's say, I think there's been a mistake, Sir Knight. Uh, this is my vessel. I'm Admiral Copius Volbetters III. This is my trading vessel. I, I see you have one of my crew tied behind you. Can I ask what happened? And that's... DC, uh, do I DC do the, 15 um, is, against Charm. Uh, yo, Admiral, uh, this individual attacked me and threatened me with vile creatures, and I have taken possession of this ship as he claims that he was in charge of the vessel and the crew. You and your associates need to vacate this premises instantaneously or i will be forced to deal with you as transgressors yeah uh copious is still trying to uh, talk his way through it he's going to, to obviously say i still think there's a misunderstanding that vile creature the knave that he is <sighs> jumped up because i was away on a mission and now that i've returned with my uh comrades we find our vessel's been attacked and some of my crew is missing he leaps from his si- si- the saber-toothed tiger and lands with his hands on his hips. So, you admit that you, an admiral, abandon your vessel. That is all I need to hear. Leave or there shall be problems. Yeah, summoning my uh, Please sword. Please let him be there when I get there. Oh, you guys are going to be out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you've summoned your sword. Leaf, what do you want to do? I'm going to pull my sword. He doffs his cap to you, flips it back on, and somersaults back onto his saber-toothed tiger (laughs) with a 19, and pulls forth a lance with decorative feathers on it. I'm going to ask him. I said, are you the one that shot my ship? (laughs) 
Dave, I shot my ship. Well, then and you're he begins stupid. to charge. You're stupid and you dress funny. Everybody roll initiative. He's charging. He's charging. All right. Nat 20, baby. Mm. It, is, it is a 24. Good day. Nice. Well, mine ain't a Nat 20. Mine's a 19 plus 120. There you go. Uh, he is going to charge. I think this saber tooth can leap. It can. Let's see if it leaves correctly, though. Ooh, it does not. <laughs> uh, let's see if he hangs on. Uh, he does hang on, so he's going into the drink. The saber tooth tiger leaps onto the ship and begins to skitter off, cutting its paw on the spikes. Uh, I do not think the lance is going to reach copious bull bitters, and he whoosh, sideways into the drink. Leaf and copious, you're up. <coughs> uh, can we still see him, or has he disappeared from view? He has disappeared from view. The saber tooth tiger is clawing desperately at the water, trying to reach land. Meanwhile, coughing and hacking, Pierre Glambone is attempting to undo the noose around his neck because his hands were tied in front. Uh, I'm just going to cast shadow armor and ready a spell to go off if I see Don pop his head up. Leaf? I. Give me one second. Uh, I'm just going to, I think I will, uh, can't find it. Look for one of my, my level ones. It's not level two. Oh, I don't know how long we rested. Did we at all? No, no. <laughs> so I, I got nothing going on. I'm just going to keep an eye out. Yep. That's it. Felix odd. Even for me, please. Odd. Uh, make dexterity checks. You guys have to hop, skip and jump over stones uh, that you didn't find previously, but at least it'll get you across dry. Damn it. <laughs> Seven. Well, mostly dry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Haggis and Manfang got a three and a two. You guys will each take two hit points of damage. Manfang is in deep crap because he's he might be unconscious for all I know. <laughs> uh, we'll wait till Frank gets back to see how he does. Uh, Robert? Uh, dexterity check. You're skipping across stones and your three associates fell in. 20. Dirty. Uh, you use their heads as stepping stones and leap to the other side. Whatever it takes. You can hear some kind of disturbance just ahead uh, through a small copse of trees. You can't really tell what's going on. Copious leaf. A hat appears on the water. Nice ostrich feather. It looks like uh, Sean Connery's out of the Highlander. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm picturing Copious being one of the uh, Monty Pine brothers from uh, Holy Grail doing this and insulting him. <coughs> nice. Uh, well, he's got the high ground. Well, I'm, I'm going to, well, we're on top of the vessel now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my way up and look, check out the other side, get up to a higher vantage point. Give me a investigation check. Oh, that's a natural 20. You see a reed moving along the water line. Uh, around the ship. Yep. I'll holler down to copious. He's underwater making his way to the other side. All right, I'm if wherever direction uh, Leaf was pointing to, I'm going to try to wander over that way and see if I can spot it. I'll Take keep it. an eye on it. Give me a dexterity check as the tide starts to roll in. Ooh. Uh, no. You fall onto a spike. Damn. You take four hit points of damage. 
Oh, ow. It spikes. Yep. Remember, it's a spiky yeah. top. Do you want yeah. both of us to do that, or just no? You you that? already cautiously moved that way, yeah. uh, Leaf. You notice that the reed goes underwater. Yeah, I'll tell Copius the reed I was watching just went underwater. As Copius pulls his body off the spike, uh, a large splash appears as Mister Quixote exits the water with the reed. <laughs> Spits it odd, even, even, copious. Uh, give me a dexterity check to avoid getting sprayed in the face with water. Uh, 21. You are able to dodge the water. Leaf and copious, you are up. Don Quixote is in the water. So we can see him now? Yep. I'm getting a javelin ready. I'm you are, you are laser focused on this guy. I'm going to get a javelin ready. Okay. He, he is up out of the water, so he's in the shallows. So if you want to hit him, go ahead. I'm going to so flat we'll, tell him, you know, you can stop this now and, and live or keep the shit up. Oh, bull. Attack natural 20. Attack him with Eldritch Blast. I've, I've got to do the right thing here. Right uh, in my ass. He attacked us. Right he put a hole in my shit. Right. <laughs> what the hell kind of crazy druid are you? Disgraceful. I'm crazy. It says so in the name. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Natural 20 is half damage again, even with a spell? Damage, damage, modifier. Okay, so... Uh, well, that was a sucky roll. Uh, 4 plus 4... 8, 8 16... 19 points. Uh, not so sucky. Uh, Leaf... Uh, so noted. Uh, both of you here. Oh, look out! I have a damn cat. Yep. Odd even. Four. Copious. Uh, you are going to get run into, maybe. Who knows? The tiger hasn't been doing so hot. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. Yes, dead on. Uh, I need a DC 14 versus strength or knocked prone, a.k.a. stabbed. Nope. <laughs> so you are clawed and stabbed. How many hit points you got left? Uh, I'm good at the moment. Three damage. Uh, one from the spike, two from the slash. Hellacious rebuke against the cat. Fair enough. Uh, Do I need to save for that? Yep. If you save uh, DC 15 con or con or dex, then you get half damage. 17, half damage. Uh, eight points. Nice. That'll work. I'm going to run the cat through. It's right next to me. So. Yep, it is. It's All on right. top of copious. I rolled a uh, yeah, stab straight down through it. 20 to hit it. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Pin yeah, it to the ship. Seven points piercing. Very good. That's yeah, it, right? The tiger is uh, 12 to hit. The cavalier, eh, not so much. What's, what's Copious? C Copious is a sponge right now. Uh, new round. What can I do with my cavalier? Uh, he points at Leaf and says, No! You are the transgressor. You shall leave and waste not my mount. You have been horned. horned? That's not a mount. That's my new cape. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be a new seat cover for my uh, zonkey. Opius, you got up last time. That's why you didn't get to attack. So you can now attack or do whatever you want. Leaf, uh, you may do what you want. Okay. Uh, so the zonkey is, or the cat's on top, right next to me? Yes. It knocked you prone. You got up last round. It's right next to you. All right. I'm, I'm uh, going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast at the guy in the water still. Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, you know I did one. Oh, uh, God bless her. <laughs> unfortunately, your Eldridge Blast's aim was a little bit off, and there is a smoking hole in the top of your vessel. <laughs> My ship! Leaf, you're up. <laughs> Damn, I'm thinking I might want to turn around and run the hell away. <laughs> well, you're about to run into your friends in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to attack the cat again. That's uh, 17 for 21. Yep, put a hole in the boat. Wow. And that is six points piercing. Eh, that cat is not having a good day. Uh, Robert, Felix, the other two. <gasps> what the hell is going on? There's a <laughs> giant cat on top of a on top of your ship, which has a smoking hole in it. With Copius kind of half-assing himself, and Leaf stabbing this cat. Uh, clearly, the cat must be magical and can cast spells. You do not see Mr. Quixote. <laughs> you also see Pierre uh, Glambone uh, with ligature marks <laughs> around his <laughs> neck, uh, dirty face, disheveled, trying to catch his breath. <laughs> What I, would uh, Felix and Robert go ahead, go ahead and uh, give me uh, in bleh, initiative rolls, please? Does it matter? <laughs> no, you'll still get to attack this round, but uh, for, 18, okay. 17. Okay. Uh, okay. Just think of it. You rolled a 17, but you're <laughs> the lowest initiative in this whole group. Uh, yeah. 17 is the lowest initiative? <laughs> yeah, that's right a, now. A, nat, a nat 20, uh, a <laughs> oh, dirty 20, and a 24. Okay, Robert, uh, this is your round to do stuff. I'm going to shoot that. I see a cat attacking the crew. Oh, no. I'm oh, going to whip God. out this heavy crossbow <laughs> oh. bolt I've never shot before and get a round off. Oh, yeah, that should be, that should oh, be awesome. That's going to suck. Big number, big number. Flashbacks to last week. 30-20. There you go. Uh, to be clear, you were aiming at the cat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even odd. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Well, it depended. Yeah. If I rolled a one, it didn't matter. You know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, nine points of damage. That thing has more hit points than I thought it did. Uh, Felix. <gasps> eight hit points. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, now I've only got seven hit points, so I'm going <laughs> to... Those damn rocks were slippery. <laughs> I'm going to fire at the cat, fire an arrow. Oh, and Jesus. Are we using a curved one? Or No, no. I Holy. think I got rid of all the curved ones when we made the spiky thing for Robert's neck. I you? have one yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fire at will. Uh, is 13 enough to hit the cat? It is. A oh, 12 oh, is right. all you need to hit the same. Oh, all oh, right. Now, can I use a sneak attack for that, or is because the it cat has no idea you're there? So oh, sweet! Be... Here it comes. <clears throat> eight plus another eight plus one, uh, seventeen damage. Nice. Top. Oh up. wait, I forgot my modifier. It's actually twenty damage. <laughs> Top of the order with the natural twenty, uh, <laughs> Mr. Quixote. Thummersaults onto the ship. Let's make sure he doesn't stop. What the hell is up with the thummersault, sons of bitch? 17. Boots. He's quite dexterous. I he guess. I got plus five hands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, you know, he's got good stats, but he doesn't have a, a lot of hit points. Uh, Robert, Zep, or Robert and Felix. Holy shit. Some dude just jumped up on the ship. Looks like Rambo coming out of the water. He is going to go odd, even odd being leaf. Four. <laughs> he's going after Copius with the first attack. Second attack. Three. So you guys get to split the pain today. Uh, Copious, since I've beaten the hell out of you, do you want the root beer or the green? Root beer. 16 on the die. <laughs> plus six. Uh, 19 on the green. Plus six. So I'm going to whack you both. 
Uh, maybe if I move the window down a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Yes, he has warding maneuvers, which allows him to move a lot. Yeah, uh, that's not bad. Four plus four, eight damage to both of you. As nope. uh, Both of you. Oh, okay. Uh, he has some kind of uh, cylindrical rod with a ball on it with, like, a uh, chicken beak. It's called a war pick. And he's, whoa, whoa. Uh, to try and save his faithful mount uh, with the 24. Copius, what you going to do? He has come for you. Eldritch Blast, point blank, right at that sucker. Nice. Ship needs more holes. 25. Uh, 20 is what you need, so 25 Damn, hits 20 is what I need? Crap! Yeah, he's uh, quite the powerhouse. But he doesn't have a lot of hit points. The stupid tiger has more than he does. 21 points of damage. Ouch, he already had 19. Both blasts. <laughs> Gave him both barrels. Uh, Leaf, you're up. So he's on the ship in front of me? He is on the ship in between you. It's you, Copious, Tiger, him. It's a diamond okay. pattern. And well, I've still somebody got is shooting shit at you guys from the behind you. We don't know who they're aiming at, though, right? Do not know. Well, I don't I'm care hoping for some point. ones. Yeah, I'm worried about this. That tiger, tiger the Tiggy Poo, uh, has got a little bit of porcupine in him now. So yeah. he's right in front of me, then. Oh, yeah. You, you okay. can choose either one. I'm going to spray poison. <clears throat> uh, at only one of them, though, right? Because Copious is in the center. That's okay. Copious yeah. is in the center. I, I'm I'm diamond, diamond pattern. They're diamond. on opposing sides. We're on opposing sides. You got. You guys are playing euchre. I'm. I'm going to spray. Hopefully, whichever one's away from the hatch. Oh, uh, that would be the tiger. Okay, then I'm going to spray the tiger. Kill yeah. the tiger. Because the cavalier is next to the smoking hole. Okay. That he uh, you know what? I'm not going to spray him. I'll just poke him with a javelin again. The hell with this. Okay. Where's your too where's confusing your sword? Huh? Where's your flaming sword? I can't light it up. Why? I haven't rested. I've used everything. No spells. Got that's, no spells. Oh, that's dude. not a cantrip for you. <clears throat> no. No, that's second, isn't it? Yeah, that's second level. Oh. Twenty-one to hit. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, you guys. I, I've got you down. Not as bad as Felix. I got uh, five points piercing. Uh, the tiger is not looking good, Robert. But, no, but, but, at this but, but the guy in the armor is just an unholy banshee. I mean, who's able to leap up out of the water? I can see both of them, though. Yep. Okay. You can't really uh, see Copious very well. He's a, what kind of armor is he in? Is he in metal? <clears throat> he is in plate. And leaping and going past How far away are they? Are they about sixty? Are they within sixty foot? Did you oh, guys continue yeah. to move forward? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be within sixty. Hell, they'll probably be within thirty. All right. Well, I'm casting heat metal on him then. Okay, that'll work. Nice. He just came out of the water, but that'll still work. That'll be yeah, steam. Awesome. That'll be steam meat. We could eat steam that. Steam and ooh, I need yeah. the health. Hot meat, but, baby. Now, let me ask this. Do I need to wait a uh, turn for the metal to heat enough to cause damage, or do you want me to roll damage now for it? I'll give you damage right now, because as uh, Leaf has correctly pointed out, it's going to be steamy inside that armor. You betcha. I like how we went cannibal already. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> 14 Timothy! More. Timothy! Is that his name? Timothy? Quixote. Oh, I thought it was Timothy. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Well, if we eat him, he's going to be Timothy, and the bard's going to sing his song. Uh, Felix, you hear just an unnatural screaming from the dude in the armor. <laughs> the uh, a, a cloud of steam rises up. Uh, he's still he's starting to take a knee. Uh, so you might be able to finish him off if you hit him. Uh, the tiger is also not looking that great. I got to go for that steaming pile of uh, crap. Okay. It's a 20 to hit Don't him. Don't you copious. 
I was waiting on you, Robert. That I almost 20. gave you a compliment for that spell. I'm glad I didn't. You now, is this up. still a sneak attack? Uh, sure. He only had two hit points left. Oh, yeah, he got blown out. Yeah. With- uh, oh, copious! Give me a dexterity save. Oh God! Uh, Twenty-one. Uh, your chest is covered in brain matter. It looks like you were riding in the car in Dallas uh, because Felix just blew his head off. Uh, <laughs> but that leaves the tiger, and the tiger is going to go after Otter. Even brain all. Even. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Not one. Uh, it oh, lunges oh. at you, but your diminutive state uh, allows you to dip, dock, dodge, dodge, ball, something, and the cat goes in the drink. Uh, Come back here, you chicken shit! Which copious uh, drink towards us or back the other way? You guys are on solid land, so it went the oh, other way. Other way. Copious' turn if he wants to level it. Because that's your cape escaping. Look, that That's my cape. I'm killing that sucker. If it's in the drink and I can see it, I'm casting a spell. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. It's tiger Strike. You got Tony the Tiger floating there. Uh, uh, da, da, 17. That hits. It's got three hit points. Okay, yeah, I just blew it apart. How badly? <laughs> <laughs> There goes your cape. Twenty points. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a tattered looking cape, but since you're short, you're probably you know what? D yard. D D twelve against me. Let's see how you do. I only need about a yard's worth of fabric. Ten. Three. You can have more than a yard. You can have a king's yard. Uh, it's, so it's, you will be able to fasten a cape, but first you're going to have to dig it out. Make it's it a the, loin cloth. the head in loin cloth, shape. dude. Yeah, yeah the, the head it's is the intact. Head shape. I want to make a cod piece out of it. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't you need one of its kittens for that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's so much shade, you're going to need a light spell. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Genetics. Oh, there you go. I love it. <laughs> uh, good news. I uh, got it from his mother. <laughs> Phineas uh, goes over and helps Pierre, uh, gives him some water. Uh, Pierre is feeling a little bit better. A calm descends over the area, and uh, Tony Montana looks at Copius as he drags the carcass out and goes, that could have been one of my relatives. (laughs) Then slice his throat right after it says that. (laughs) So is uh, is the uh, night still steaming? Uh, he is steaming a pile of death on top of the uh, oh, I'll shell. I'll just go check for a purse, but if he's still hot, I won't. Just use your jab and push him in the water. He'll cool down. Yeah, he'll cool down immediately. Yeah, I'll shove him off. Wait a minute. Copus is down in the water. Make the roll. Make the roll. <laughs> waiting on it. Waiting straight, on it. Straight up D20. I, I knew. I, I didn't want to say it. But. Uh, natural 15 with bonus 19. Okay. Leaf. Uh, 15. What dexterity? Oh, my dexterity? Ain't shit. Plus one, that's 16. You can no longer see copious because the steam is rising in front yeah, of him. Yeah. But he, but he was not struck. Uh, he's now he's you checking the pockets of the sucker if he landed beside <laughs> him. Well, uh, you're already hauling something that weighs more than you. Now, granted, <laughs> you're only in three foot water, so you know you're doing a bob, and- a bob and weave. Uh, would you like to uh, request assistance from your fellow uh, gnomes? Something? <laughs> no, well, the, the gnomes are busy. Pierre is uh, being. I'm gnome. right above Toby's you. He's right there with hey, me, right? Hey. Because he told me he just got done telling me this could have been his relative. So I'm going to have Tony help me. Tony Montana will help you out. Go ahead and uh, give me a straight up dex roll. And give Natural me, 20. Give me two of them because you're dragging both bodies. Uh, natural 20 and then 11 with bonus 15. 
Uh, you manage to make it to shore. He will take uh, the cat first, and he will drag it up on shore, leaving you to drag the heavy cavalier in heavy armor. <laughs> no much runes of shame are being carved on that sucker's body. Fair enough. For putting uh, holes in my ship. And he didn't put any holes in your ship. <laughs> There's three you lances put... stuck in the side of it. Oh, yeah. Who had the big hole that was smoking? <laughs> the tiger. We already established it was a magic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It was sure a, we did. Uh, <laughs> what, is, oh, shit. what is that thing called? The uh, Rakasa, Raksha, the Indian tiger that has magical power. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what it had. That's what it had to have been. Clearly, yeah. it had to have so been. Clearly, that's magic. That my new cape is magical. <laughs> so I'm gonna. If Phineas, they got the noose off of Phineas, right? Yes. That, I'm gonna ask Phineas, that where are our zonkeys and the rest of the crew? The rest of the crew ran. The zonkeys. He, he didn't get them all, and we were coming back. He was going to get our supplies. They're back at his base camp. Okay. Uh, it's about a half a mile away. He dragged me. Can you heal me? I'm hurt. Yeah. I'll heal you after you lead me back to his base camp. I don't like you guys at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't like you either. Let's see if he remembers how he got here. Well, we can you know, no, man Bank can apply some medical procedure on him. No, <laughs> not till we find out where this base camp is. Uh, is that what you guys want to do? No, we want to find out where the base camp is. Wait, we need to make sure instructions are very clear because the tide's going to come in and the ship needs to get off the beach back in the water. It, we don't all have to go do this. We just need no. a couple of us to go back to this so, base well, camp. Manfang and Haggis. And the gnomes. And copious. Stay with the ship. Well, I can stay with the ship. Feel like stay with the why, why don't Robert and I take Phineas back to the base camp and get the zonkeys? Pierre, you got to. Pierre's the Pierre, only one. I, I get the two mixed up. You know, all gnomes look alike. Gnomish. Ouch. Nothing racial there. You guys are certainly odd fish games.com because I forgot to mention them earlier. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> Leaf and Robert, uh, you got to do what you got to do. Leaf and Robert and Pierre are going back. Is that how I. Yeah, but it's all right with you, Robert. Everybody else. I'm he fine as long as Pussy attaches the holy put in the ship. I didn't put yeah. the holy I mean, ship. The magic Rikashi. tiger put in the ship. Wait a minute. It's we in the top. It the, doesn't matter. The, uh, leftover shell from uh, uh, Man Fang. He had that extra shell. We'll just patch the hole with it. Man Fang wears that as armor. He didn't take it because of the turtles. It was left on the ship. Yeah, it's and on there's the got to be some kind of punishment for not showing up. And, and you know what? I will go ahead and be generous and point out that Felix is pretty badly beaten up. Yeah, that's why I was going to say. Felix is going to stay back, right? Felix is definitely yep. going to stay okay. back. Yeah, well, that's why I didn't mention it. Point. Okay. So I got two PCs and Pierre going to base camp. Do you have any potions, Felix? I am out of potions. That give, is why I am still banged up. I give Felix a potion. I've got one of the plus potions here somewhere. Ah, somebody's hoarding. <laughs> Felix I don't call it hoarding. I just save them for myself. Felix had to use the last of them because he was in bad shape. Yeah, what were what were the the plus ones? Uh 2d8 plus 4. All right, that's what it is, Felix. Yeah, there they are. 2d8 plus 4. Yep. No ones. Now, do you want to roll it for me there, uh Lee? Roll it yourself. You're oh, drinking roll, it. Oh, great. Now, 2d8 plus 4. One. So now I only got one of them left. Two of the other ones. So four and seven and another plus four is fifteen. Ah, now you're feeling better. Much right. <laughs> better. Thank you. Leaf and Robert. Uh, Pierre asks if you got another one of those that he can have. He's feeling mighty banged up. I will give him a a one die eight plus two healing potion. 
I'll, I'll give him some hard tack. Uh, Felix is going to pee in the bottle that this potion came in and give it to him and say, here, you can try this. <laughs> so he will gain I, the benefit of half. You roll on that, Frank? Yep, already done. Uh, okay. he, he's got three more hit points, so he's okay. Uh, okay. He gets his second wind. A die eight, and you rolled a one, didn't you? <laughs> no, I, I rolled a two, but since Felix peed in the bottle, I took uh, half off the potency. <clears throat> so he screwed me on that one. I thought uh, that was residual from the chlamydia that Felix had. Well, this means Pierre's going to be insane as well. <laughs> oh, lovely. But he was. Oh, wait a minute. I thought he was. Yeah. He was. Okay. Insane-er. Wait. Hey, can I take Leaf aside uh, as he's leading Pierre away and just re- and quietly remind him without Pierre that we need him alive because why? of the trunk? And I'm going to say, why? That trunk. We know that trunk is full <laughs> treasure and we don't oh. know how to access it. All right. All right. So no accidents. Uh, yeah. You guys head off and Pierre is 100% certain he knows where base camp is. 100 <laughs> percent uh copious uh, are you going to take to skin in the saber tooth tiger to see if you uh are successful give me an animal handling skill if you thought will. robert was the expert at that isn't robert good at that robert he went with is, me yes but he's left i know but if i can wait to do it till robert comes back you I may wait, wait. yeah let it wait till robert returns sure. and then he can have his cod piece out of the this part of it cool uh leaf robert uh, thought it was right here. No. Oh, Benny Hill slapped to the back of the head. I, I will take survival from Robert and Leaf. All right. That's a good and one for me. 23. Uh, Leaf, you hear zonkeys in the distance. I hear the zonkeys, Robert. That way. <laughs> can I tell which way they're coming from? The sounds coming from? With well, a twenty-three, you can. Okay. Now I'll, I'll point. Tell him I, I hear the zonkeys off that way. One to two, three to four, five to six is Pierre. Uh, who wants to lead the way? I will. Okay. As you guys head towards the sound of the zonkeys, you hear, uh, guys, guys, you turn around to see the gnome slowly descending in quicksand. Hmm. Uh, Does this count as an accident? It would count as an accident. I've got that piece of short piece of uh, uh, silk rope with me. I'm going to toss the end to it. Go ahead and hit him. What's that? To, go ahead and hit him. You can use dexterity as your modifier if you want. I think it's clean. It might not have soaked in. Um, 16. Yeah, you hit him. Uh, you can drag him out. He is covered from the collarbone down in sand. He's like, I don't remember that part. Uh, yeah, about, about five minutes later, you come upon a smoldering campfire. The ember is still white hot, uh, but the flames have lessened because it was dug out. So the fire was actually below the ground level. Uh, and you see your missing zonkeys tethered. Uh, you see a rucksack on one side. You see a small chest on another. And you see a plethora of fancy outfits on a rope between two. Uh, I wonder if any of those will fit copious. He'd like some of that stuff. Yeah, the cavalier was pretty tall. <laughs> we could cut him down. Just a little boy size. <sighs> we'll just cut him just uh, above the knee at the thigh level. That'll fit him then. So let's grab the knapsack and the chest. Take a look in the chest, see if it's worth taking with us. Uh, Play with a the knapsack. Small bag of gold, small bag of gems, and a large tome that says Quixote Family History. Let's throw the chest on one of the zonkeys. We'll check the knapsack too. Should we empty it and then fill it full of zonky shit and leave it for copious? No, we ain't got time for that crap. Okay. Oh, I just I'm waiting to find out if Felix is in the the history, the lineage of the Don Quixote clan. 
He is. He's always per- he always tries to be professional. So he's a relative. <laughs> Felix, copious. <clears throat> Perception check, please. Fifteen. Twenty. Sounds of battle. Out towards the ocean. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going back up on deck carefully. Too many trees. You're going to have to move along the ridge line and uh, see what's going on. From the ship, along the ridge line of the ship. All right, I'll uh, move. you'll have to get back on the hard ground and move. You guys made it in about three, four hundred yards where, to where you were safely hidden. Okay, I'll hop off the ship and go do that. As you guys meander that way, you notice that night has fallen. It's pretty dark. Uh, There is a uh, quarter moon, so there is some illumination. And as you get close enough to the coastline, you notice two merchant ships and one turtle ship are engaged in combat. It appears though, as though the smugglers have arrived. And is the tide has the tide actually lifted the ship at this point? It started to, but it is not complete. Okay. All right, Felix. I I don't have it in me to deal with another fight or running battle, and we're at half crew at the moment because none of the humans are here, and they made up a good chunk of our crew. Uh huh. So I think we need to get the ship as ready as as quickly as possible so that when the tide comes in, we're we're sailing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, do we know how to sail the ship with just the three, yeah. four of us that are here? Yeah, okay. because we have Haggis and... Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Yep. We have what? You got Haggis, you got Manfang, you got Copious, you got Felix, you got Leaf, you got Robert, you've got two turtles, and you have your Tabaxi. So you have nine. Of course, that's four on four. Uh, oh, and you have two gnomes. Yeah, I think last time we were fine. If the human sailors were here, that would have made a huge difference, but they're Mm -hmm. nowhere to be found. Yes, the uh, ability to move escalates with the more people that you have. Okay. But it sounds like we've got enough to at least get us out off the bank into some deeper water so that the tides won't affect us anymore. Correct. Okay. Yeah. As, As you guys head back to the ship... You see the zonkeys led by Robert and Leaf coming from the other side in the dim light. Uh, you can see the ship is rocking as the water comes into the estuary and rises it up uh, about ready to free it from its uh, dirt bondage. This is what we see as we're coming up. Both of you see yeah. it. You notice that these two wandered off and left the ship unguarded again. God. We'll hurry up to the ship and get the ramp, get the ramp lowered, ramp lowered, so we can get this on. Great on. big Eldridge blast hole near one of the ramps. <laughs> that damn Rakasha! I can't wait till I have that half cape made out of that sucker. Um, yep. I'm gonna let Leaf. I was there, Dick. The sea battle that's going on out there. You guys are alerted of a sea battle. Two merchant ships v one turtle. Uh, did you want to have Robert give it a shot? Yeah, for skinning the the tiger. Yeah, and that's good. That's good meat on that tiger. Robert. Not so much on the Cavalier. What was his bonus for that? Animal handling. I'm not sure. Four or five, I think. Let me get excited again. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh, easily he skins it like a pro, uh, and even fashions the soft spot of the tiger's head out. Now he has a tiger in a box. You know, a claw That's not how it great, goes. <laughs> a claw would make a great scepter. Uh, with an at 20, uh, you guys can uh, yeah. pull off whatever you want. He's you know, carved one of the it claws. Up. That's, that's my clasp to hold the cape on. Was this a male tiger? I'm thinking I need a new purse. Odd female, even male. Even male. That's a four. So you can get a walking stick for a gnome. <laughs> Yeah, you got to go to Tijuana to make it, but (laughs) let the record show I was never able to find one of those when I was there, so I was disappointed. (laughs) Record show I know somebody that has one. Damn it, that was my sole goal a hundred years ago when I went. 
Okay, uh, he has skinned it expertly, and uh, using his charcuterie powers, uh, you've even uh, got a little tenderized meat going on, uh, mostly because you aerated it with all your damage. <laughs> uh, and the ship is starting to give way. We'll get the, the ramp back up then. Zonkeys are loaded up. Uh, still no humans. Do you want to wait around and see if they show up? Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Those are the sailors. They make a huge difference. We just said there's a sea battle going on. Do we on. have any idea where they went? We have an idea that they ran away. They may come back now that they see we have the ship and the ship's getting ready to set sail. But he just asked, are we staying and waiting on the sailors to return or are we taking off? Well, we, so you want to sit here, let the battle finish up, then block Give you a hand. <laughs> I'd rather. Yeah. That's or I think I would the rather. City and yeah. all the evil that we have caused in it to come out here to find us. I think but we're very good. We don't move that fast with only half a crew. That's true. We don't move that fast dead. That's what we want to do. I say we pull out and give it give it a, a short period of time while we wait for the tide to finish coming in and the battle to finish or to continue yeah. to try to get out. I'm exactly sure Felix has ever pulled out. Just like no. my couch, I don't pull out. <laughs> I think I agree with Copius on this one. We should wait until high tide and the tide starts going back out of the bay. That'll give the humans a little bit of time to show up. And if they don't show up, it'll be easier for us to row back out. Because okay. then we'll be going with the tide as opposed to against it. Whatever you say, I'm no sailor. Whatever. Who wants to D12 against me? Felix does. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I'll, I'll give you an hour to wait. Seven? Yes. Four. Uh, the sailors uh, cautiously reappear. Oh. <laughs> we were uh, captured, but we managed to escape. Yeah, right. <laughs> captured. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to shout at them to get on board ship because we're getting out of here. They have one chance, and then we're gone. If I roll a one, there's going to be a problem. One. At 20. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, skipper. We're uh, ready to go. They prance across the estuary, uh, around on the grass, and load up uh, as they do. Ugh. You notice that uh, you break free. All right. So do we want to see if the battle's still going on? We can try to sail past it because the turtles will think we're great coming to join. And then we'll just go right by everybody <laughs> and run. <clears throat> We've got a full full crew now, right? So we can full crew. pull or and haul ass right past the battle if it's still going on. Uh, Phineas comes up to Copia and says, orders, sir. <laughs> Felix, how's it sound? You have a, you're the navigator, Felix. Yeah, I think that's a winning idea. I was too busy contemplating whether or not Phineas was on board or not, because I would be sad to see him go. I will be sad to see him go one day. Right. Uh, well, yeah, I think. Close. So you said it's a quarter moon, so it's they can probably see us, especially out in the open sea. Yeah, I think let's just row right past them, like we're going to help. But we don't stop. All right, start pulling. Start the the count. You have have them start doing the beat. Leaf is going to bed. Tide goes in. The tide goes out. Admiral Copius is a rat. Uh, as you leave the estuary, the battle is directly in front of you. The merchant ships are on the left. The turtle is on the right, and it is trying to ram one of the merchant ships. Do you want to go left, back the way you came, or right, which may or may not take you past the port of Fatar? Felix, you're the navigator. <laughs> uh, the I th even odd, Felix. Let's uh, decide. We can head, I mean, we can go north fast, but we run the risk of the merchant ships attacking us as we cruise. Right. I think let's hook around right behind that turtle ship. 
that's doing the ramming and let's pretend like we're going to ram as well. Only we missed. Whoops. Fair enough. Call the, we, call the stroke. Yeah. Oh. So you're going out and left. You're going to attempt to miss the ship. Uh, no, we are deliberately going to miss the ship by quite a big margin and hit the open sea. If you, well put. If you saw the New Year's Eve show, one of the players massively attempted to miss a halfling on a spinning wheel and ended up cutting his head off. So, <laughs> Navigator, roll that d20 and let's see Damn. if you miss. Do I get a bonus? Nope. 18 easily uh the navigational skills are paramount uh as you sadly miss one of the ships uh in the background you hear tony dakota oh i know those guys uh and you head <laughs> out uh you may also may may not hear total cursing uh as you run from the battle like the yellow bellied tortoises that you are you land loving pieces of crap uh copious i assume you're going to want full tilt on the oars yes at least for the short term until we're in open waters straight up d20 only a one is going to partially hamper you not a one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how close was it pretty close <laughs> You are serpentining along the coastline. Uh, does anybody want to climb up top and uh, see how the battle's going? Oh, Felix, he's Mr. Dexterity, isn't he? Yeah, sure, I will. I feel much better after that potion. Give me a D6. Let's see uh, what the result of the battle is. Six. The Toro ship was sunk. Good thing we navigated out into open sea, if I do say so myself. The smugglers were successful, and they have sank one of the prized vessels of the Tortle fleet. There will be blood tonight. <laughs> uh, news is, Felix, they are not in pursuit. Good. Uh, I will climb back down and relay this to Admiral, and then also let him know I'm going to bed. Now, you, you do know that everybody who goes to bed takes one oarsman off, off, right? Ah, uh, fine. I'll stay up for a little bit longer, but not me. Once we get up into open, once we get, uh, yeah, out into the water, let's raise the sails. Wait a minute, Lee. Wait. Are are you going to bed? He already went to bed. I went yeah. to bed already. So we're short and oarsmen, anyways. Then I'll go to bed and recoup my. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, now that I got some hit points back, I feel much better. You feel a little bit refreshed. I do. I do. I know. I was down like five hit points there. I only had like 30 <laughs> some hit points. I don't worry about hit points. I didn't have any magic left. Why yeah. the hell did I have so few hit points? Remember uh, that I'm going to jump through the, the uh, portal back in the fun house. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Ooh, 21 damage in that fun house. <laughs> you got the hell beat out of you. And I went in with full health. Jason got the hell beat out of him by a damn por uh, uh, portergeist. Yeah, those, those chairs, man. Those chairs just kept coming out of. Yeah, nowhere. that that was horrible. Uh, you guys head off uh, this away. I assume, unless you want to double back and take your chances mm -hmm. with the smugglers. Nope. Oh. Okay. Uh, once you get to about right here, uh, does anybody want to go up top, look around, see if it's safe to relax yet? I'm sleeping, so I guess. Felix does. Felix. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, Felix <clears throat> and copious will. Uh, Felix, give me a D8, please. A one. There's a storm of brewing, uh, but you do not see any ships on the horizon as the moon, the quarter moon, dips below the clouds. Can I see which way the storm is coming from? Can I Can I tell? Is it coming towards us? Or... It's coming towards you. Like, coming from due uh, north. Shit. And nobody's repaired the hole in the ship. Shit. <laughs> that Rakasha, man. Hey, I asked for that to be done before we left to go find the zonkeys. 
Is uh, he the I, admiral? Did the admiral ask for it to be done, or did the bard? Uh, the, ad, the admiral has not ordered it, nor has he ordered uh, the cleaning up of the. Uh, what's the? What do you call the water at the bottom? Bilge. Bilge. Uh -oh. Yeah. So. Nope. But hey, priority. First priority was to get out of dodge. We've done that. Now that we're out in the open waters, we've got a couple of things to deal with. So Felix tells tells Copius that there's a storm coming. I want to take the folks that need healing. You know. Uh, your first priority was for me to skin a cat. Well, that's what, hey. That is yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, there's fashion and there's practicality. Fashion should always win. Um, so you want to look good when you reach Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make an impression. That's right. Uh, so let's, I want to put people on the pumping out the bilge. I assume the ship has some ability buckets or at the very least to empty the bilge. They will. You get a couple of folks working on doing that and somebody else to try to patch the hole in the top of the ship. And then the sailors are back, so they should be able to raise sail to get us moving in the right direction away from the storm. How Correct. does mending work? How does what? Mending. I, I know it, it. You would. Mending would work on this situation. I'll take care of that hole then. I have that ability. It's a cantrip. So. All right. Thank you, Robert. Well, don't thank me. Mr. So Christian! <laughs> Actually, I want Robert... Robert needs to write write an epic poem about boiling that Don Quixote <laughs> son of a gun in his own armor. Robert went to bed. Robert ain't fixing Robert it. Robert went to bed and he's covered in Don Quixote's steam and saber tooth guts because he yep. skinned that thing. He looks like a butcher. And not Did Sam anybody the bother to take the armor off that corpse? Damn it, I meant to take the armor. Way to go, I boy. I the body up on shore. And You're going to have to hire somebody to scrape the flesh off the inside of that one. That, <laughs> that armor needed tanning. Yeah. Yeah, hire anybody. Ugh. Throw it in the fire and let the fire do it. Yeah, you could boil it. Hell yeah. Well, of course, you can't boil it now. <laughs> what am I going to do with that armor? That's true. Use it as a shell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have used a breastplate for a bathtub, you naked little thing. Uh, now you know what his hair's starting to grow out, and he's going to get a calyx. So okay, I want I want him to have to make rolls for itching then. <laughs> Distraction rolls. Yeah. But anyways, that's the bilge has been between are we, the humans are casting sail. Gnome and who and uh, Haggis taking care of the bilge. When Robert wakes up, he's mending the hole, or he mends the hole and then goes back to bed. I'm not sure how that. Robert works. can or I can. It's a cantrip for me. It's not a spell. Doesn't use Same anything. Here. Yeah, cantrip. Well, hold for on. Both. Where are we going? Amazon. Well, we're no, you are not. <laughs> You're going north. We're, oh, you we're, said the storm was north. Yeah, we're heading the opposite direction of the storm. So you're turning around and going. Which back way south. is north on this map, anyways? I get I, that. Oh, the me. extended map, though. All right, we're we're not sticking in this area anymore, are we? No. We're not, we're no. Out of here. You guys are here. Uh, the storm is here, and the battle was here. Well, then why don't we go southeast? Let's see. What's down there? I'm pretty sure there's a human world down there named. Yeah. Got well, we got Amazons down there somewhere that Felix wanted. Southwest was Amazonia. Death by Snoo Snoo. There he goes, thinking again with the itch. We're going to depopulate Amazonia if we take Felix there. Oh yeah. Uh, you'd be surprised. I'm sorry. Don't the Amazons okay. don't they they mate and then kill? So. Yes. No, that's they, black. They that's the black head. witters. Dre, so, Glary, is that human? That is Halfling. <gasps> it was a shot. Yeah. That's like where the humans halfling are. Felix, Felix was really good with yeah. pulling his halflings. <laughs> Felix, you know what they you know what they say about those halfling females? I don't. They look just like dudes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So you have the Amazons <laughs> you know, here. Since you have that. the half lane population here, and Ashana is uh, mostly human, uh, but mixed culture. Why don't we head for half lane? Because that's east of where, southeast of where we are now. So running ahead of the storm and running away from Tortal Land. You and know what? No, this is the second place we will have gone where the buildings are all made for short people. And as somebody yeah. that's over six foot, I'm not thrilled with that. I'm not either. 
but it's the fastest place to go to a, a front, potentially front but, uh, shore. I, I'm asleep, <sighs> so I really have no say in this. That, that's a good point. I have like a five head bump limit before I burn something down. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so after you guys wake me up, you can tell me what we're doing. Oh, yeah, that same here. <laughs> hey, can Felix tell by his navigational skills about how long it's going to take us to get to either the Amazon Island or the, the Halfling Town? Land? Performance check, Felix. I think because, again, it's. Uh... Let's say, how, how did Felix become a cryptographer? How did he he, he found the navigational room. Yeah, that was it. He was the first one into that cabin and found the navigational map. I think that's one of my traits, though, is that I have, or mm -hmm. something about it in my backstory, that I was a navigator <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I had navigation that tools. That's what it was. Uh, my performance check was a 10. A 10? Uh, uh, certainly, from the location that you are at right now, he believes it is equidistant from Amazonia, to Dre Glary. However, he notices that none of the maps in this vessel show ports at either location. So finding a port uh, may be a search criteria. Well, what's the nearest port? Can you tell that on the map? There, there are no, well, the, only the ports on uh, Play Blyle are listed. Ugh. Remember, this is yeah, a total vessel. Ship. Yeah. Uh, so here, so here's, I mean, my concern with the the Amazonia uh, is that we don't know how receptive they will be to a total warship full of various men. But they're so good looking. The men that are on the ship, I think they will be very receptive. Have you not looked at freaking Fangtooth? What's wrong with you? Okay, I was talking about myself. They're they're <laughs> clearly going to be interested in me. You guys need to remember when Felix oils. talks, he's thinking with the diseased part of his body. I think I am not <laughs> thinking with the disease, but I'm definitely thinking with part of my body. Can we make I an argument about, about, disease, but about it's either it's population, it. just to see if we know anything about the, either country? Uh, I'll give you Arcana check. I'll give everybody Arcana check for that. I just want to establish which one do we think we may have more success at interacting with the population in terms of getting natural the 20 on my Arcana. Uh, roll a D6, Robert. Roll a six. Uh, I have you know, to ask again. Now, we're sleeping, Robert and I are, so we'd be doing Arcana check. Are we still sleeping? I didn't know. I thought we were up all discussing where we're getting the hell out of here. It, it'll be three days to get to either okay. location. All so, right, so it, we can assume the first day's passed? Or? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys can wake up in the morning fresh as a daisy while Copious and Felix look like death warmed over. Uh, do that. As far as I'm concerned, they always did. So Robert knows a little bit about Ashana. Who else is rolling? I rolled a 17. Well, I'll roll now. I didn't roll. But a 17? A, uh, 14. Eight. <laughs> you 16. don't know shit. I know that there are bit large women at Ashana. That is all I needed to hear. Big booby. Uh, I think we need to tell Felix Such, we're going large to Ashana, tracks of land. and we'll instead we'll go up there to Little Halfling Land. Uh, Copious and Leaf, give me a D6, please. Uh, four. Three. Uh, so, Copious and Leaf, uh, you know that the halfling population resides on a peninsula, and they are, like all other halflings, quite friendly, but they are quite uh, stoic about their uh, political regime because Robert will tell you that Ashana has been to war with the halflings repeatedly, but cannot beat them because of the fortress. Uh, Solitude? Right here. Oh. Uh, blocks the pass. Uh, it's kind of like Switzerland. They, Ashana cannot get past the pass. The halflings uh, control their own destiny. With that said, there might not be a lot of ports. And if they are, they're going to be well defended. 
Robert will tell you there are plenty of ports on Ashana on both the left and the right. However, uh, I will give Robert the benefit of the doubt. And there is an old ghost story of a ship, a skeletal crude ship uh, that haunts the northern reaches of Ashana. It's a very famous folk tale there. Call it the Black Pearl. Whenever is that there is close to Hazel Yard or whatever it is. Yep. Hazel. Whenever there's a fog in this region, mm -hmm. the ghost ship will appear. Hmm. Wonder what the uh, odds are of there being a fog bet. there if we go that way. Yeah. Our <laughs> best bet's probably still to go to halflings in terms of resupply and to yeah. recuperate, repair, what have you. As long as you are greeted well. Uh, and for the eight rolled by Felix. Yes, the large boobied women uh, of the Amazon probably will want to see him. <laughs> all right, well, I'm, I'm okay Amazon with all the way. halfling town to resupply. They're yeah. all Xena. <laughs> so let's... Uh, uh, now, once we get everybody's in agreement, we're going to head towards halfling, ride the coast, look for a port that we can put into. Two things. One, Felix and I need to go rest. Because yeah, that's fine. Be out of us now we know where we're going. I'll, we'll talk to the sailors, and then you guys can go rest. And the we'll, other thing uh, is, we need. I know if, if we go to the Amazon, if there's gambling, alcohol, and big boobied women, Felix has got to roll up a new character. I'm gonna that have to roll up a new character. Leave. I will not leave the Amazon. He will be dead. <laughs> yeah. Parts of him will never leave the Amazon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Felix will have would not believe that he arrived there. He would have died on the way and already gone to heaven. And if women find out what he's leaving with them, parts of him will never leave Amazon. Then either. he will be dead. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Robert, uh, while Felix and I are below decks resting uh, and the sailors and everything's going on, we probably need to have a new flag to fly on. The <laughs> I wondered if you guys are going to change that out. You know, we need to swap <laughs> out the flag markings from the turtle land to something new before we get to halfling land. We'll Otherwise, put a couple of sailors to scrubbing the markings I'll, off the ship. I'll come up with something. Otherwise, they're going to think it's a turtle warship. And we yeah, need you know, more friendly. You make a good point. Maybe we should look at getting a new ship when we get there. This one's got a hole in the side of it. Damn, not, not anymore. Oh, no, wait, you're right. Been fixed. right. But uh, should we really be sailing around in a turtle well, warship? What was the name of that ship in that one show with all the little dwarves and everything that flew through time and... Uh, Time I bandits. Was, I don't yes. Think a name. What was the name of their ship? They didn't have a ship except for that one scene. They landed on top of a pirate ship. Hey, no. so it looks something like that. Yeah, I'd rather it not look like something like that. The V, the FV Time Bandit. That that is the flag. That's the sign outside of Shitsville. Hold on, <laughs> you read my mind. Shits Creek. That's it, right there. It's, it's his sister. sister. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go to the Amazon world? <laughs> Better yet. <laughs> have you, have Better yet. Uh, maybe it, it's okay. It's his gnome. Yeah, it's Shit's wow. Creek. Shit's Creek, they had a sign outside of it, and that's what it looked like. Welcome to Shit's Creek. Yep. Nice. So I'll it. take care of the flag. <laughs> You just told me to make a new flag, and you said you went to bed. I'll write it up. Don't worry. I, I, I got an artistic ability. Embroidery skills out the wazoo. <laughs> or I'll just take parchment and do I, it in tiger blood. I'm going to needlepoint the shit out of that flag. You know what? <laughs> Martha Washington, eat your damn heart out. <clears throat> wow. Want, if, depending on what he comes up with, I'm going to find someone to turn that painting I have of Robert into a flag. Then you better not go to the Amazon because they'll be raiding a ship looking for the treasure. I think what he, I, I think you should give it a little bit of a flair. That, that stars around it. Right. Cause you know, you got to have stars to show what it is. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. A is, it, is it maybe this, maybe a little Oriental look? Oh, there you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like that. There you got it. Except you need to put, you need to put an apple <laughs> pad on the one on its knees. 
Just out of curiosity. You know what's funny? <laughs> Somebody somewhere has got that tattooed on their damn neck. You know? They think it means courage or something. <laughs> Oh. What were you saying, Copious? <laughs> What's the rating on this show again? Mature audiences only because we are as immature as they come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, aside from nudity, <laughs> we can pretty much get away with everything. <laughs> nudity yeah, is you don't want to see this naked. I can tell you that right uh, we, now. We've seen <laughs> Kyle and Tamlin's ass crack on this show. And for some reason, Tamlin has <laughs> ass crack that it has to reach about 14 inches long. <laughs> chasing his cat one day. Uh, so, uh, oh as you uh, work on your embroidery skills, Copius and Felix go ahead and take a nap. Uh, the two gnomes will go ahead and take a nap. Who wants to commandeer the ship uh, with the Admiral off deck? <laughs> I left uh, uh, Captain Haggis in charge. Oh, boy. <laughs> Will there be a mutiny because of uh, his high dexterity and the presence of Amazons? <laughs> if there's a one, yeah. Not 20, again. Uh, he will follow your orders as requested, sir. Uh, day two <laughs> will pass uneventfully. Uh, with Felix's navigational skills, he anticipates... Maybe reaching uh, sight of land by noon or mid afternoon. And we're headed for Little Peopleville, right? Okay, That's, just making that, sure. That is the plan. I keep hearing Amazon's mentioned. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I, who keeps saying that? Amazon's. <laughs> Amazon's. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Let's go to the Amazon. Oh, I heard Amazon. That's where we're going. All the people down below deck are talking Amazons. <laughs> Weirdest thing. Amazons. Uh, that is called the funny Chinese humping sign JDM sex car truck window phone sticker decal. So for those of you interested, you can find it on eBay. <laughs> but not on fishgames.com. <laughs> Don't, don't look for that sticker there. Uh, and enough of the humping sign. Although there's, there's a couple here that would make for an interesting flag. I feel uh, like that, the show Community, if anybody ever watched that, when they allow the students to design their own flag, that's, that's what I feel like we're going through right now. Those were the two best D&D episodes ever portrayed on TV, in my humble opinion. Uh, day three, Felix, give me a D12, please. Isn't that AJ's job? Eight. Uh, true to form, shortly after noon, uh, land -a ho The right. rocky coastline with... Uh, the blanched white cliffs of Dover, a.k.a. Dre Glary, uh, are ahead of you. Unfortunately, your approach has yielded no coves, so with his navigational skills firmly intact, he thinks he is on the northern point. Uh, you just have to decide which way you want to go. Along the northern coastline. The land to our left. Do we this sail way? South? This way over by Dre or this yeah. way over by Glary? By Dre. Uh, I think we want to go towards Dre. Down all the way there, a little bit further where it says Ashana. <laughs> just right down there. That's right into this the, foggy area? Just yeah. right into right, that. Right from the foggy area. Right yeah. into that damp crevasse. Oh, you want to go into the mountain pass? <laughs> you, oh, sorry, I got some. I yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I think no, we know what I think you're. Thinking. I think you're going up that way. Uh, He's got crevasse on his uh, brain there. With mm -hmm. the admiral firmly entrenched in the job, do you want to send somebody up high, or do you just want to make sure that you can? Nope, spots. I want to get someone up in the crow's nest watching for land and port and other ships. As Which we're... poor bastard do you want to go? Uh, I want to see if we can get one of the human sailors is comfortable doing it. Uh, they're your rowers, your primary rowers. I'll go up and do it. I was going to say, let's throw a gnome up there. 
poor Phineas. Uh, Leaf has volunteered. You go up. Uh, give me a D4, Leaf. Two. You see an inlet right there. I see an inlet right there. Where? Over the arm. You also Ooh. see... 20 warships. A single oh. fishing vessel. That's what I wanted to ask if we've seen these ships. And they, do, a... the, they do this. Fishing boat. Uh, they are little people. Man, look at those Amazons. They're huge. Huge midgets. They must be really <laughs> far away, Felix. They're really far away. Here, turn your binoculars around. Look through this side. <gasps> they must be upside oh, yeah. down because they all look like dudes. <laughs> huh. That With doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to enter the cove? You've clearly been spotted by a fishing vessel. Yes, we want to... Uh, yep. yeah. If the sails are up, we probably want to uh, pull the sails down and go switch to rowing and watch for the shoreline to make sure we don't hit any uh, low areas. Robert, so, have you uh, ascended the new flag? <laughs> I am posting it right here. There we go. I sent the chat to everybody. Naughty Gnome Garden Party. I Naughty Gnome Garden Party. This cannot go bad. <laughs> Just can't. <laughs> <Click on it. laughs> oh. I'm not even clicking on that button. I believe that I name know is, is Faggy. I'm one for my wife's garden. Faggy Maggie? Faggy Maggie's Naughty Gnome Garden Party. What the hell is that? Only you. Man, my internet is just slow tonight. <laughs> Big lad. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's still coming up. Oh, was, yeah. There was there was a lot of them I had to choose from. Oh my! <laughs> oh oh god! It, oh, would you guys <laughs> stop looking at it because it's a slow loader on mine? <laughs> I it, act know. it actually chose Internet Explorer. Where Keep in mind, going? Robert. We don't want them to think we're a giant ship of prostitutes or some weird bacchanalian kind of party boat. Now you're gonna get us killed. Wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't seen the flag, so I have no idea what he's hoisted up there. There's no way they aren't going to think we're a bunch of Well, partners. there's two garden gnomes. One of them's looking for truffles. The other one's behind him, urging him on. Sure, we'll, we'll say it that way. Uh, Robert, the, make sure the, to wave at the halflings as we pass, would you? <laughs> the, uh, the fishermen... <laughs> is stunned beyond words. Leaf, would you like to give out a hi ho greeting to him? I will. Hi ho, neighbor. Well, if you guys are worried about what that one might imply, we're looking. We're looking for a port. I bet you are. <laughs> Not uh, that kind of port. Uh, oi. Uh, <laughs> that way, friend. And Your port. flag is unknown to me. What flag? The one hoisted. Which I didn't see him hoist it from my perch. So That's because it's over your head. <laughs> I'm going to reach up and pull it down. Yes, oh, I man. am. You, you, you reach up and you grab a handful. Yeah. And yank it down. <laughs> give it a give it a tug. Yes. I meant to cast dancing colorful rainbow lights around it as it flew as we came in the port. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, Leaf, uh, you uh, have gained a friendly wave, uh, albeit con confused. Yeah, uh, me too. A, that way. As and you, you can point see, towards a, the place I can see, the... The cove. Cove, yeah. You can't see any buildings because the okay. cove takes a hard right. I'll it it blends in nicely. Okay. Yeah. 
I'll tell her down at Copious and tell him. All right, start backing or so we're not going in full speed into no. the pool. It looks pretty sharp. Uh, you go in. Uh, who's uh, who's steering there, Admiral? Are you? Uh, Admiral, I don't usually steer. Usually we have the other gnome steering. Who, who wants to roll for Phineas? Well, Robert's his friend. Robert, go ahead and give me a D20 roll. Let's see if Phineas can make the hairpin turn in the big ship. 15, no bonus. Uh, man, he parks it like what your flag looked like. <laughs> uh, however, everybody hears scraping on the bottom of the ship. It's shallow. a shallow cove. Uh, let's see how far. Somebody give me a percentage roll, please. I got it. 33. Uh, you get a third of the way in and you land on a sandbar. Uh, not good. It lurches forward. Uh, everybody has to brace themselves. Uh, Are we at high tide? Out of the portal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this will not be good for you. No. Uh, out of the portal, you see over to the right uh, a vast uh, hankering of multicolored buildings. It looks like you found a Haiti pre uh, earthquake. Uh, there are three terraces here uh, and several smaller shipping vessels uh with people with nets uh, high enough can i see a channel where this or the sandbar go all the way across there is a channel i'll holler at copious you got to get the oars out we got to get backed up off this sandbar give me a performance check to successfully blind navigate him oh jesus performance i got no performance 16. Yeah, you get in there. Give me another percentage roll. Um, 70. Wow. Uh, you successfully navigate right up to the shoreline. Uh, back and out's going to be quite the chore, though. Uh, but the ships, the small fishing vessels uh, surround you. Uh, all the halflings have sailor tattoos. Uh, some of them have birds. Strange Are they birds. any of them Japanese characters? <laughs> yes, it all says soup. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> they, they do not think it. Uh, Oi, they're, uh, they're Welsh. I'm going to give these guys the Welsh Gosh. accent. Which, of course, as we all know, my accents all suck. So they'll probably be Russian later. Isn't that funny? And that turtle we met was Welsh. Yeah. There's a lot of Welsh people here. A lot it's of Welsh people. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, man. you know, they're, they're, well, under, they're not Welsh, but there was a little Welsh in somebody. <laughs> uh, as the ships surround you, curious onlookers uh, shout to Leaf, uh, Oi, where are you from? I don't know where we're from. <laughs> <laughs> Crag uh, Cragwich was your main port of uh, Cragwich. Cragwich. <clears throat> Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, it's way off that way. You're Somewhere. tall. Uh, yeah. Are you a Shante? No. What's that? Uh, they're assholes. Oh no, I'm but definitely... in Welsh. They say assholes in Welsh. You mean they're Scottish? Oi! <laughs> Oi, prick! We don't need your kind around here. You take off! You go deal with the fog, you cretin! <laughs> yes, the Ashante are going to be Scottish. <laughs> Works for me. Scottish bastards. No, I've never, never seen a Ashante. We're new to this region. We were just. Well, where did you get the ship? Oh, we found it abandoned. You're full of shit. We're off some island. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to roll for that. You're full of shit. <laughs> Nobody well, leaves we, a ship like that around. We, we were on uh, 
This huh. guy's full of shit. <laughs> you know, some cat eye in your mouth, you little prick. And there was oh, a, a oh, yeah, of, boy, we're going to war. <laughs> bring it on. I got my power back now. I can see some lightning coming down here. Never underestimate the shorties. No, hell no, they, they threw good. rocks. But we good. found a whole bunch of dead turtles killed by a dragon on some ruins up on the cat island. Persuasion. And then we came upon <laughs> the ship. Persuasion. Do I have any of that? Nope. Uh, 13. A dragon, you say? Yeah, a dragon. Huge dragon. Ah, you're full of shit. Do you have the dragon head? Oh, no. Couldn't kill it. Couldn't that, kill it. That, that makes sense. We ran. That's a wise choice. You got this yellow turd. You know. <laughs> uh, I, guys- I am a living gutless yellow turd uh anybody else gonna go up top and try and save leaf from pissing somebody with some persuasion skills they <laughs> yeah. well better do it yeah, I, what, are we do we need the politician uh man fang, fang. <laughs> diplomat. Where's the diplomat? No. i'm gonna call <laughs> down to man fang to come up and join me on the on top of the deck i was gonna come up and talk with uh leaf because i mean i'm bringing up my new flag oh god <laughs> what new flag <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so the the motion is the speed? Yes. Okay, got it. I'm not okay. actually sure what that was representing. I'm not either, but I'm sure I know it exactly to what that was representing. I think you were prominently displayed, Admiral. It was something very <laughs> anal. Let's you, leave it at you that. You were in front. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte hat. It, it might go perfectly on a bottle, too. You know that game everybody plays that's not horseshoes, but it took the place of it for wussies? Oh, no. cornhole? That's it. Oh, yeah. I'm a lawn dart metal tip kind of guy. <laughs> Old school. And, until mom took them because my brother accidentally got hit a couple times. <laughs> that cool. happens. Brother should have moved. You know, I when I throw how, it up in the air, I don't know where it's going to land. How wonderful was that? Sharp pointed, <laughs> heavy ass lawn darts, and the idea was to stand next to a hoop while the people at the other end took their turn and threw the darts at it. Yeah, I love that, that game. That was the greatest game ever. Oh God, I loved how, it. How we survived is beyond me. But we were drinking lead. You watch where the, the damn taps. things were coming down. That's how you survive. We weren't looking at it. <laughs> They're horizontally thrown. Uh, okay, you can tell Leaf is uh, struggling dealing with these really struggling with these Welchers. Robert comes up with his pornographic flag. Oh, uh, they like it. <laughs> that's a nineteen. Uh, there is, uh, uh, that, yes, that's that's just some creativity, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, is that my sister? <laughs> I like the speed motion there. You need to bedazzle that. Uh, who are you taking up there, Man Fang and Copious? Copious. I'll holler for Copious. Copious and Man Fang were going up. Uh, yeah, I'm Jesus not a diplomat. Christ, I thought you said the dragon got away. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was his offspring. You stole the baby? <laughs> What are you, yeah. Willow? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it raped what? a zonkey, and this is what it produced. Zonkey. What is zonkey? <laughs> it's a little horse. But when Copious comes up with his stature, ah! And his plume. You. You a uh, nice cape. That is a nice cape. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Killed it myself. It was a Rakasha. Blew a hole in her damn ship. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Sorry. Uh, you are clearly the leader. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. As we can see eye to eye with you. What uh, What can we do for you, friend? Clearly thinks he is. I, 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 I'll, Copius introduces himself as Admiral Copius. Uh, and he, oh, Admiral. He establishes the fact that they're, they're looking to uh, flip into trade. <laughs> Put on supplies. They're heading down the coast, uh, and they're more than willing to pay a fair price for any of the supplies that um, that they take on board. Oh, uh, you will need to deal with the uh, mayor 
of Light Ridge. Got another mayor. You haven't had that many problems with it. Where will uh, we find the mayor? Uh, see that gray house on the top? Sure. That's not him. So you go <laughs> down, you go down, kind of, kind of go down, <laughs> and see the pink one. Yeah. Okay, right next to the pink one is the blue one, and that is where you will find the mayor. Blue house, down from the gray house, next to the pink house. Right. To the left, or to the right, depending on which way you're looking at it. Perfect. Uh, Can you horribly go wrong at all? They seem to like you. No, I'm gonna, they I'm, really like Robert's flag. I'm going to ask them if, uh, if, they, if they ever uh, like to uh, sample any, any, any spirits. Beer. <laughs> Not we like ale. Flag. Is that, uh, is that we ale? like ale, but is that the symbol? Because uh, no, no, no. I have a different. This is called Black Label. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I know what ale. that looks like. <clears throat> uh, yes, I, I believe we could probably do trading. Yeah, well, maybe we could uh, give you a sample of that. And, uh, see Boy, pricks! These guys are going to see the mayor. Did you tell him it was in the blue house? Yeah, I told him he was in the blue house. <laughs> uh, these uh, nonchalant, fun-loving little bastards are probably going to pick you clean, uh, but they form an armada line uh, and allow you, if you want, to jump off your craft and go walking craft. across. Yep, they are excellent sailors. Someone coming try, right. Probably all pickpockets, too. <laughs> Probably. What? Man, the Welsh are not pickpockets. You guys are just <laughs> racists. Uh, as, as you go down, uh, the first one there gives you a flourish wave, Admiral. Uh, and well, uh, that is a nice cape. <laughs> what you take for trade? Nothing. I won this cape. I killed this monstrosity. You know, I could win that cape. Do you ever play dice? Nope. Felix, <laughs> Felix yeah. is not Felix is not above deck. Yet. No, Felix no, is he, cleaning he, himself he, up down below deck, still thinking we're at the Amazon he place. He sends the tremor in the force when oh, somebody yeah. says dice. Somebody, Gambling? Somebody dice. say dice? Dice? <laughs> Felix will emerge up from below deck. Uh, I'm going to tell the, the munchkin who just uh, said something about gambling. I'm going to say, right there's your guy. He's not in charge of the ship. He can't wager the ship. He can't wager the zonkeys. But he has a handful of gold. Go to it. Somewhere besides on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Felix! Uh, Felix is going to kind of mutter to himself, these Amazon women are a lot shorter than I thought they were <laughs> and a lot more manly. The but, chest hair is uh, but, the big uh, dissenting. But, but maybe it's yeah. Remember that time at the Bronx Zoo? No. <laughs> the Monkey House. <clears throat> I purposely blocked that memory. Did somebody say something about gambling? We gamble. Yeah. What oh. will you take for the ship? I can't gamble the ship. It's not mine to gamble with. But I can gamble the with. Short the guys said uh, you could gamble with the ship and the zonkeys. Oh. Yeah. The store guy's gonna... not there any longer, I assume, right? He's correct. Off. You're you're walking, getting accolades by people of your ilk. I'm checking my pockets every ship I go past. That that's a wise idea because they shake hands and pat you on the back a lot. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> hey, the people of Light Reach uh, have their own hobbies. Light Reach. Uh, Leaf, uh, what are you doing? I'm I'm staying on the ship. Robert. I guess I'm going on shore. They like you. I mean, they squeeze your your quadriceps, and they are amazed at your stoutness. I got a <clears throat> belt with my money in it. <laughs> Up here. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I'm carrying my fanny pack over <laughs> my head. Nope. Nope. Uh, hey, the, you the, better hope he, they don't have any cut purses down there because they might get the wrong idea, if you know what I mean. I, I uh, figured at one point I'm going to have to look down and go, hey, that's not a purse of coins. <laughs> that Mayor, knife away from there. Mayor well, Moyle will be glad to see you. <laughs> Mayor Moyle. Uh, Felix, do you want to depart as well? Yeah, I'll head into the town. <laughs> Leaf, do you want to keep... Uh, Haggis and Manfang. I'm going to keep them on board. Tell them nobody gets on the ship 
will close and lock the hatches after I leave. Oh, you're leaving? Uh, I'm going to go on shore, too. <coughs> I, I, split, I, I guess the man fan aren't happy up. about that. They well, I, and I, once again, Haggis, do not leave this area until we get back. You stay right here. Haggis will return to the captain's chair, which he has become accustomed to, but will be startled a lot as halflings peek in the porthole. <laughs> hey, can we come in? No. Uh, Absolutely not let anybody in. They told me I couldn't let you guys in. (laughs) So the four of you go across the fishing vessels, which for some reason are exceptionally sturdy. Uh, You aren't sure if it's the flat bottom boat, the uh, low depth of the shore. The water is as blue as uh, Don Quixote's eyes used to be and very clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. As a matter of fact, it's difficult to judge the distance, uh, but you see fish, white sand. This thing is the Bahamas uh, and light reach is just covered on three levels uh, with a variety of short houses (laughs) <laughs> for robert uh as you skip along everybody ah hey ah, hey yeah, yeah. No, no, i like no. i like the flag I, i'm gonna shart <laughs> <laughs> i'm talking yeah. about like that asparagus broccoli cabbage shart well, uh, copious i guess the good news is you were walking ahead of him leaf and felix what the hell died <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna take just one second i'm gonna look up robert good lord my hope is it it, it does help a little bit with the vermin Sure, that'll work. Uh, the, <laughs> the farther inland you go, as you turn to the right, you notice that the high mountains uh, give way to a beautiful waterfall. And a half lean, what you assume to be adolescence, are cliff diving uh, with a great deal of high acrobatic accuracy. Uh, the waterfall itself is 150, almost 200 feet up. And uh, these little cannonballs have no fear of falling. Uh, You'll notice that the water in that region has an exceptionally dark blue uh, coloring, indicating there's a greater depth over there. Uh, A lot of the townspeople have arrived, uh, curious as to the strange vessel, strange flag, and strange crew, uh, including a dapper individual with brass buttons down his surcoat. Uh, The bright red trimmed in black makes him look like a ringmaster, and he has a strange hat, top hat, uh, and introduces himself as Mayor Toomey. Welcome. Welcome, strangers. (laughs) What can we do for you? Uh, Copious will do the introductions and... uh... A man I can see eye to eye with. Good. I'll hold the flag above his head for him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, he takes a shine to you, Copious. <laughs> you like my clown? I take him with me everywhere. He's funny, isn't he? He is. <laughs> Must be that sour broughton. 18. He doesn't seem to mind it too much. He's just kind of curious as to where it came from. Uh, <laughs> what can we do for you, you bastards? Uh, I'm, same spiel is back on the ship to the first group. They were just simple. Well, now our supplies happen to be in short supply, but uh, for you bastards, I think we can make a deal. That's what we'd hope hope for. And maybe uh, more importantly, if you have any maps of the area that we could trade for or purchase, that would be exceptionally helpful, particularly ports. Ports on this land? Yeah. D12 against me. Well, this never works for me. 
Five. Use. Uh, yeah, you you should see our map maker. He is a, he's a bastard, too. He can help you out with that. He doesn't come cheap. Uh, well, we, we don't have much, but we're certainly willing to work with him on a fair price. Not after walking through that crowd. <laughs> he pulls out an enormous stogie. And sends out diamonds. Smoke diamonds. Boss. What else can we do for you? Uh, Will you be needing the rooms? I can sleep on the ship. Well, yeah, I don't so. need it for the whole night, but just for maybe an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> you know you'll kill these people, right? <laughs> Couldn't resist. It was it was like a softball. You've heard of you've heard of smallpox, right? <laughs> you're gonna give Something them like some, that. Yeah, Is that what they them. call it here? Pox. Small. No, they call it smallpox when it's in a half lane. That's right. <laughs> Regular pox man. if it's uh, you know Robert. Uh, so will you be needing lodging, uh, food, etc. Uh, uh, while you barter with these? I people? have a cabin on on the ship, so I'm quite comfortable. But uh, some. Fresh food and a good meal would serve everyone well, I think. Uh, also, if there is a, an apothecary around, maybe we could pick up some more healing potions. Uh, Georgina the witch can help you. Ah, Georgina the witch. Uh, hey, how do you get a witch pregnant? <laughs> I don't know. How? <laughs> for one, you don't That's only your for pants. those who've seen the movie. Same way you do everybody else, Alex. Same oh, way. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm guessing like that. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> uh, so, yes, they have an apothecary. They have a cartographer here. Uh, they've got a lot right. of small businesses. This is going to be a small town, light reach. Uh, so they're going to have some amenities, not a lot. You notice there's only halflings here. There's no other races. That is why you guys are a curiosity. You further notice that fishing boat walkway, that ain't there anymore. They've all gone back to their business, which means you don't have a boat to get back, but they can find somebody to ferry you. <laughs> or I can swim out and get one of the boats and come back and get you. I'm sure they will not attack a shark. Mm -mm. Not at all. Or an octopus or a whale shark. Or... Exactly. Wait until we see what they serve for a meal because if they serve shark fin soup, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, they, they better they, off as a minnow. Yeah. yeah. They have a collection of uh, mutton and seafood. That's tenderized mutton, too. I, I want to ask yeah. the mayor before we move on if he, has, if he can share any local, um, Local, not history, but of current events, anything that's happening in the wider world in this region, anything of note. We're new here, so everything's new to us. Uh, well, we're, we're pretty far from the action. Uh, however, let me, I, I did not anticipate the history lesson, but I have that. I just have to get to it. Uh, I don't think it's Margu players. I think it's Margu. <laughs> we're, we're pushing the, the DM's world building skills here. It's it's actually all written out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is one of the older ones. Mm. Uh, we need to push harder. This that's right. You, you need to have me make shit up on the spot. Uh, Margu. And you are at, where are you guys at? Dre, Glary. Oh, uh, the shield crest is a yellow shield with a green diamond pointing down. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of history. D-R-A-E. See if we should get, can get one of those. We'll be like one of those uh, bumper stickers. We'll put every, every stop we go, we'll put one of the flags on our ship. Uh, they will explain to you that Drake Glary is known as the Highlands here, and it is ruled by a Khan, K-H-A-N, 
uh, Thornfield is the capital city. It is also named after the first Khan. Uh, the current Khan is Khan Thornfield the Twelfth. Uh, he resides in Thornfield, uh, and uh, any action, any better return on investment would be on uh, Thornfield. But it is inland. Uh, it's, uh, the landlocked fortress on the map. Mm -hmm. And are we? It sure is called the Briar Patch because it has never been taken. Even in the days when we were ruled by the Ashante, Thornfield was. Uh, they're bastards. They are hardcore bastards. They are people with low morals, uh, have gambling problems, and just generally scum of the earth. Are they human? Yeah, uh, they're human bastards. No offense, crazy druid or weird man who wants to gamble. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, they, they sound like bastards. And which way are do these bastards live, just so that we know not to go there? They are in the Southlands, the Lowlands, because they are low people with low morals. Ah, yeah, they sound... We, uh, we are horrible. in the Highlands, as you can tell. This beautiful deity-given uh, land is perfect for us. Because... Although short, we scale the mountains. Uh, sure do, comrade. <laughs> I see. I it's already devolving. slipped out of it. <laughs> You're already that didn't take very long. Either. No, it does not. <laughs> Boris and Natasha are the current rulers. <laughs> hey, you didn't ask for Matt Mercer. Okay, I don't do. I don't do voices. You're lucky I do voices at all. You're lucky I speak. <laughs> So, uh, there you go. They will serve you mutton and surf, because they don't have a clever analogy for that. Uh, you found that the uh, capital city is in a spot called the Briar Patch and has never been taken. Uh, Khan Thornfield the Twelfth is the current ruler. These guys live a quiet existence on the coastline with their hidden cove, uh, and they will give you kudos to your crew in navigating uh, the sand barge or sandbar that blocks it, uh, which has kept them safe from intruders for several hundred years, and they're quite puzzled as to how you did it. Uh, give me insight check, all of you. 16. 19. 20. 21. All four of you get the feeling that while the accolades are sincere, there is a question as to your intent, especially in a strange vessel. Not reaffirm again. Are we, that are we keeping just, you up? <laughs> yeah. That we just want to, we want to. Sorry, up, I'm boring you. <laughs> we want to pick up supplies. <laughs> and the other way. Been up since five. Oh, that that would explain it. Uh okay. I I, I think we we go ahead and try to confide in them our, our backstory a little bit. And by confide in them, I mean lie through our teeth about a backstory. Sure. Um, that we you know we are uh, adventurers and and merchants trying to sail. And Copius will go back to his whole merchant uh, persona he's done before, trying to establish new trade markets for ales and beers, etc. cetera. Uh, the Black Label brand is a new one we're trying to get really started, several, several. So we'll, we'll lay that part out and then lead into, unfortunately, our, our vessel was attacked. We, we were able to secure- By the dragon. Well, that was another vessel. Was, but actually, I think there was a dragon that attacked the vessel that took us over to Fatar, wasn't there? You are rich. Uh, no, you got uh, hit by pirates. Pirates. Yeah, uh, pirates. So pirate, dragon, pirates. There was a dragon, and there was a ruined city, and we finally managed to find this abandoned ship and begin our adventures again. We're hoping... Oh, that, yeah, that is very interesting. <laughs> you that is a bitter pale ale. It's a wonderful brew. Do you offer him the ale? Yeah, we, yes, back at the ship, the, the black label. Oh, pale so ale. you don't have a Special brew. Well, I have I have my personal stock unless one of these con artists pulled it off of me as I walked ship to ship. No one has picked any of your pockets at this time. 
Yeah, I have I have a small sampling I keep in my own flask. I can let him try. That's a horse piss. Seventeen. Do you have more? Good <coughs> horse piss. He brews it himself. <laughs> Is it Santorum? <laughs> it's a pale ale. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Look it up on Urban Dictionary, kids. <laughs> You'll never look at him again the same way. Uh, yeah, he liked it. 17. He's uh, he's, he's duly impressed and uh, feels that uh, he can do business. Uh, he will introduce you to his secretary, Samouse. Uh, she is a female halfling. She has a charisma of 12. Uh, she is very well spoken. You notice Somebody that... keep Felix tied down. <laughs> I think Seamouse can tie him down. Uh, all these people speak common. So there's not going to be much of a language issue. So what you say <laughs> will be interpreted exactly how you say it. So Yeah, um... Robert. <laughs> Well, because that term was new to me, I looked on the Urban Dictionary. Thank you very much. What yeah. term was it? I didn't hear it. Santorum, as in Rick Santorum. <laughs> it's very definitive. <laughs> very political, folks. So, uh, you know, if you don't like politics, don't look that up. But <laughs> this is an educational it, show, though. Yep, yeah, that is true. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, you will be allowed to uh, wander the town. Uh, Simouse will go ahead and show you the sites. We'll introduce you to the cartographer uh, and the apothecary. apothecary. Yep. Uh, so you guys can do that. Uh, so far, everybody is friendly, uh, albeit slightly guarded. And supplies. We still need supplies uh, yep. <laughs> traveling on. Sure. So if we can get at least a week's worth of supplies. So what we can round up. Not a problem. Uh, we will go ahead and cut it here uh, right. because this is a good stopping point. Uh, but yeah, so far the four of you uh, have made a good impression. Uh, the alcohol certainly swayed it along with Robert's embroidery skills on his flag. <laughs> Leaf didn't uh, do you guys any favors because he's a bastard. A uh, bastard I am. And Felix. Uh, I was very well behaved. You know what? Let's see how the lady likes you, since you are the ladies' man. How can he tell which one's the lady? Because uh, it's Seamouse, and she got an 18 for liking you. Oh, oh yes. Boy, this is, oh this is where you screw up <laughs> your stay here. <laughs> I didn't pickpocket anybody when we were walking across the ships. It took everything I had not to. All you got to remember is one good fire burns this whole sea shanty. That's thing. right. And everyone will be saying, Light Rich, well, who? What? Yeah. Uh, Light Reach is lit. Oh, uh, reach. Like I said, I hope there's another world we can go to when this shit's all done because nobody's yeah, going to let us live here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, to the Maelstrom. I, I'm thinking you're hard pressed to find anywhere where you guys can stay at this point in time. Uh, mm -hmm. There you go. So you have been to, let's get you annotated. Uh, I haven't been to you, Crystal Wick. You started here. Uh, you went to Snowf. Yeah, that didn't. Work. You went here. Then you went here. And now you're here. Yeah. Hey, by the way, we never did finish the original quest, which was to figure out why the gnomes were crazy and try to bring the gnomes back to the, the Tabaxi land, by the way. Oh, were we? <laughs> Correct. And you uh, traded one crazy for another in the form of the syphilitic uh, Felix. So, but you guys are making headway. You're making friends. I mean, you know, yeah. you, you only burn down three things in yeah, everywhere uh, we go. Yeah. That's Robert's fault. Uh, it's not us. It's us stuff. Wrapping it up. Jason, what'd you think? Are we doing the right thing or do we still need to work on it? Uh, I Boy, we didn't waste any time with that little Don Quixote stuff, uh, did we? That was it. <laughs> yeah, you killed that bastard immediately. <laughs> Kick him when you're down, though. Whew. 
<clears throat> I didn't have a lot of hit points to sit on for that combat. You're welcome. Uh, Frank, what'd you think? Oh, same thing. It's a good thing he didn't have many hit points. Or we'd have been in deep shit on that one. You guys got lucky because he had an AC of 20, but he only had 56 hit points. So, hell, the Tiger had 58. So, yeah, Tiger uh, didn't seem to be that bad, but. Uh, Felix and uh, Copias are not. Yeah, Felix and Robert uh, helped out with their uh, archery skills on that. And they, nobody got shot by their own player. I know. It was, uh, it was like Pistris. That's no. true. Yeah. She yeah. took a big blow from Copi Admiral Copius. Yeah, way to blow up your ship. Uh, what's that? The Rakasha blew the hole in the ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's uh, what that's what Leaf saw. Uh, yeah, no. Ro Robert, what'd you think? I liked it. Going Thank in a good you. direction. New new places, new things happening, new new ships captain sign. I think we have to go out and pay somebody to truly draw this in all its grandeur and glory. What you need is a masthead with that drawing. That, yeah, that that's that's where the money is. It's in the details. Money's in the details. Is there a carpenter here? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm paying to have this done. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd make your ship a little top heavy, but that's okay. AJ, what'd you think? Uh, I am having a great time. I am so excited to be in the new land where the people shake hands and pat each other on the side. Oh, and you haven't had a fever in a couple of days. So maybe you've, maybe you've beaten it. Yeah. I've definitely beaten it in the last couple of days. I assure you of that. Oh, uh, well, that's okay. Sea <laughs> mouse will be able to go ahead and help you out folks. This has been murder. Hobo Inc. The tri-generational campaign. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Shoot the shit with us on our discord. Buy our crap. I don't know, in our shop, I think. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot or the talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Don't forget to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that just rolled the shit out of 20s today. And of course, oddfishgames.com, because when your game stinks, pick up their adventure sense, because that really matters. Uh, join us Tuesday for the talk show. Uh, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us, folks. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye, everybody.